I thought I would show you how to code a few extras in this project. So I already went ahead and put a cloud and a bear on here. And if you noticed, I changed the size of the bear to be kind of looks like he's far away, so he's smaller. So if I wanted to code the bear, I could go and add some more animation. I could grab the flag. And on this particular one, it already has built-in costumes to show that movement. So I can go, I, so I wouldn't have to draw this one because it's already in there for me. So I could just now go to my flag. I'm going to go to my looks. And in the same way that I did my volcano, I can go to re forever repeat. And then I could say next costume and put in a small weight in there. So now when I click the flag, it looks like he's walking in the background. And if I wanted it to actually go across the screen, I could come over here and say move 10 steps. But then if I think if I'm going to do that, I'm going to take it out of the forever loop for just a second. So I'm going to say move 10 steps. How many? And then to go over, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 30, 31, 2, 3. So I'm going to say maybe 40 times. So now I'm going to hit go 40 times. So I'm going to say, no, move 10 steps. And then instead of repeat forever, I can add to this that says repeat 40 times. So now, but if I do that, remember if I, any time it's a good habit is to always get back into that habit of adding your beginning X, Y. So that way I don't have to keep moving him back every time. So now I click the flag and it sees like he looks like he's walking in the background. Now that would be a really cool thing to see, see the bear in Yellowstone. It kind of looks like he's walking on the ground up here, but there's just grass. And he's going kind of slow, so maybe I want to up his steps a little bit so he'll go a little bit faster. So now we can watch and you see he's going a little bit faster so it's not quite so cumbersome. And I could do, I could change the steps. And then when he gets across, I'm going to, I'm going to say, go to the starting position again. So now I'm going to say negative, right here's the number right here. So I'm going to say negative 205, 261. And now I can put all of this in the forever loop. So now it goes for all inside the forever loop. So now it's going to look like he goes across the page, and then it's going to look like he comes back here and starts again. So if I do that, and so then as he's going across, now I could look at the cloud. Maybe I want the cloud to go back and forth. So I could do that same type of thing. It does, I can look in the costumes. It only has that one. So I don't really want to play with the costumes on this one, but I do want to have some movement. So I'm going to come over here to my events and I'm going to say forever move. So I know it took, so I'm going to say it took the bear about 40 times to get there. And so now I'm going to maybe put this at 20. And so now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say repeat, forever repeat, move 10 steps. So it goes like this. Okay, so it says it moved 10 steps. So, and then I'm going to put that on there instead of repeat 10 times, I'm going to put 20 times. And then I'm going to do another repeat like this. I'm going to say repeat 20 times. And now I want it to go to the left. And so now I'm going to say move, instead of a, if I move 10 steps, that takes me to the right. If I say move a negative 10 steps, that takes me to the left. So now, and once again, just to get in that habit, let's add our starting position. So now I hit play, so you see the cloud just going back and forth. Now, I wanted it to keep going, so I have it repeating. So now I'm just going to, forever do this. And so you see the cloud going back and forth and then you see that the bears come back. So you've added some kind of fun animations in the background. Now you could play around with your numbers and where you started and how far you wanted your cloud to go. But this is just some fun ways to add some extra animation to your project. Have fun!